I don't know where I'm gonna go when the volcano blows. Volcanoes. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Seriously, bro. Super bubbles. The super bubble has been captured. I'm in the mood to talk about science, geology, the magnetosphere. Really anything you'd like, ma'am. What do you want to talk about? Volcanoes. Volcanoes? Volcanoes. You're new here, huh? That's cute. This video will start off with me giving you facts about a volcano in Mexico that just erupted today. And those facts are a new volcano erupted in Mexico today. All right, now that I got the facts out of the way, I'll get into the pontificating, rabble-roused thinking to bamboozle you with my rambling habdasheries. I'm talking about volcanoes, ladies and gentlemen. No, not space bubbles. This episode is all about, yeah, volcanoes. She was hot. Boom, she explodes. Ah, uh, which is funny, because I've dated a couple of Mexican girls, and they can explode like volcanoes, man. They're passionate lovers, and passionate, holy crap, I'm angry at youers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for real. So I'm just curious, why are all these volcanoes so active? I kind of want to do something semi-cheesy and say, there are record numbers of volcanoes going off on Venus and on Jupiter's moon Io right now. But you know what? Science couldn't prove me wrong. <laughs> and, I, and I feel it's right. You know, the Force told me. I am a Norse Christian Jedi. And people will say, that's impossible. And I will quote Yoda and say, that is why you fail. All right. Volcanoes. I don't know where I'm going to go when the volcano blows. I like it hot and room temperature. No, just kidding. I like it cool. Oh, I don't know where I'm going to go when the volcano blows. I go nowhere, man. I'll just go on my porch, light up, have a smoke. Hopefully, I'll have beer in the fridge. I would say an acuity to put my arm around, but I did that shit during Kama Ison, <laughs> and the results were not good. All right. Volcanoes, man. They're really a problem. What do I got to make a billboard for you? All right. I'm going to make a billboard. Thor News says volcanoes are an issue. I don't want to scare the drivers into wrecking and traffic and shit, you know? All right. Volcanoes. Man, volcanoes. And hopefully by now I found some spooky footage of the Iceland volcano and how much ground its lava is covering. I'd really like to cut together all of Dutch synths footage of uh the hawaii volcano because it's powerful gorgeous and scary at the same time but i asked him once i don't think he responded i've also got another question for him <laughs> guess i'll have to make a video all right peace out god bless everybody hey dutch would you like to be an honorary founding member of the astonishers though technically we started a long time ago okay this is no reason to be doomy you know if you want to be doomy uh study economics Check out what's going on in Davos. Check out Ukraine, war movements. Look at the currency war. Watch the ECB dump 600 billion into the economy in one day. All the doom's there, man. Not volcanoes. All volcanoes, all you have is lots of ash, lots of lava, you know, lots of crustal disruption. But nothing is as doomy as the human being itself. The jerky ones, man. The ones without vision, empathy, imagination. Hey, you remember back a couple days, wait, couple weeks wait a month ago when I was like we have a volcano problem and well I saw a report from news people that said although the amount of erupting volcanoes is at a known to science and mankind record high the activity is low and I was like what <laughs> and then the news article was like shut up I am science I was like, okay, science. But what about that NASA report that was saying volcanic ash changes the aerosols, and aerosols change the way our planet is heated? I guess my overall point to this video is that there's a lot of stuff going on. And when talking about something as complicated as Mother Earth, atmosphere, climate, we got a lot of problems, man. We got a lot of situations. We got a lot of anomalies popping off. 
I don't know if it's Carbon, if it's Nemesis, if it's the Purple Kachina, the Green Kachina. Maybe it's my imagination. Maybe that Ischwek Volcano in Iceland isn't that big of a deal. I would like to shout out to our friend, Ben, the Time Traveler, for posting this footage of today's volcano eruption. I like time travelers, man. They're cool, usually. One time, me and a buddy, well, I don't know if I should call him a buddy. He's tried to kill me a couple times, for reals. Um, he does uh, free agency work for space agencies, General Electric and the sort. Anyway, we're having a rather fiery discussion about something, and he was like, you should have mastered time travel. And I go, cheers to time travel. And I think as we went to cheers our glasses, I said, I have. And both of the glasses erupted. It was cool. I got a picture of it somewhere. And the glasses just flew apart, broke, shattered. It was really neat. I wish somebody would have videotaped it. Skynet. All right. I will now end by trying to rip off Captain Kirk. Crap. I did a horrible job. Volcanoes. You might think of big, loud eruptions. Actually, no. I'm listening. You have my attention. My name is Thor. Teach me. Volcanoes. You might think of big, loud eruptions, glowing lava, and dark volcanic ash entering the sky. But when volcanoes aren't erupting, they can leak reactive gases into the atmosphere that form tiny particles known as aerosols. Whoa. Aerosols? You didn't need to get all creepy like aerosols. Whoa.